Uh, hi guys, today we're going to be doing some Project Euler solutions. Uh, in case you did not know, Project Euler was actually a project made for students. It's a project um, which enables students to do uh, extra programming questions um, outside their curriculum. Their curriculum. So uh, this is this is gonna be a series for a walk through to through some of these problems. We're gonna we're just gonna attempt the the first one today. Uh, I always recommend you guys to pause the video and try doing some of these yourself before you see the solution. But let's just go ahead and try the first one. And it's gonna be the multiples of three and five. Uh, you can find some of the solutions over here on my GitHub page. Let's not spoil the fun. Anyway, uh, the link for these will be in the description below. So let's start. If we list all of the natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of 3 and 5, we get 3, 5, 6, and 9. Some of these multiples is 23. Find the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below 1,000. <clears throat> so we know that when we're finding the multiples, we do not want to overlap because there are some multiples like 15, which happen to be multiples of both 3 and 5. So let's just start with the problem. So we'll go ahead and define a function. I'm just going to call it find sum. And let's just create a variable sum, which will hold our final value. And the problem says that we are supposed to find multiples below 1,000. So I think we're going to... What we're going to decide to do is range over every single number from 1 to 1,000. By the way, these problems are purely algorithmic in nature. So you could do this in any programming language, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it in Python. So let's range over values to 1,000. So we can go ahead and put that statement right there. And then we need to, uh, we need to find... A, out as to whether our number, in this case, it's i, is a multiple of 3 or 5. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to put an if command. And we're going to say if i is a multiple of 3 or i is a multiple of 5. Keep in mind that 3 or 5 could be uh, multiples and these can also overlap. It wouldn't really matter since it's not a it's not a it's a, not an or condition where only one has to be true. Both can be true and the condition will be satisfied. Uh, we'll say that i is a number that is now multiple of either 3 or 5. So from there we can add i to our final sum. So now if we loop over this, 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 if we go over this for loop, we know that we would have covered every number from zero to thousand. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with this, I think you should check out um, some Python, basic Python videos beforehand, because for these um, algorithmic problems, we are only going to be doing uh, it in Python. And we're only going to be using the module math. This is all going to be done from scratch. So, so now we have our sum, so we can go ahead and return it. So let's call the function and see what our final value is. And let's run that. And that's our final value right there. It seems about right. So that's the first one. Uh, so this is the first problem. If we go back to the website, you can see that it has been solved by 
right now 331,000 approximately but now if we go to like the 600 problem uh, let's just go back uh, well you can see that as you go farther and farther less people start to solve it because it just gets that much harder so this series will get harder over time and I will go slower. I know I've rushed things a bit today, but I am short on time. Maybe I can create another video to compensate for this. But yeah, this is it for today. Thank you for watching.